that would protect abortion rights up to 24 weeks. Now, similar measures have been successful in Kansas and Ohio, all part of a broader effort to really put abortion rights directly before voters at the state level. But in order to get this language on the ballot, supporters need to gather almost 900,000 signatures by February 1st. And although this is a popular position among Democrats, they say they're also getting help from across the political spectrum. Take a look. Thank you for signing. Good afternoon. At festivals, farmers markets, even the beach, volunteers here in Florida are fanning out. Bringing the petition to mahjong parties and pool parties. Trying to get one issue on the 2024 ballot, a constitutional amendment that would bar any restrictions on abortion before viability around the 24th week of pregnancy or when necessary to protect the patient's health. I don't think there's any doubt that when this thing is on the ballot, that it will pass. Anna Hokemer leads the Florida Women's Freedom Coalition, one of several groups behind the movement from right here in her South Florida home. A coalition that she says doesn't just include Democrats. By her organization's count, of the 1.3 million signatures they've collected thus far, more than 150,000 have come from registered Republicans. I had one woman say to me, you know, I was in a room full of Republican women when we heard that Roe v. Wade was overturned. And it was like being at a funeral. They'd all been through this battle before. They thought it was settled. Are you both registered Republicans? Yes. Yes. Okay. And there are voices behind those numbers. Carol Whitmore was introduced to us by the Florida Women's Freedom Coalition. To say that women can't make this very important decision in their life is atrocious. So you will be surprised and you will hear there are a lot of Republicans that support what Jamie and I do. Her friend, Jamie Carter, is unaffiliated with the organization, but has signed a petition in favor of the amendment. You know, there's a, a lot of people that you wouldn't think would be the pro-choice um, advocates, but they are. And I think it's really just having control of our own bodies. That's And the government overreach is huge right now. What do you all think happens if the Republican Party as a whole doesn't see this issue the way that you do? I think the national level, they're realizing they're not going to win this battle. And it's not just women. Former state representative Carlos La Casa and Ed Williamson, a prominent local businessman, are also donating time and money to the petition cause. Both are registered Republicans. Why do you think it's important? that you speak out as men on this issue. I expect my privacy rights to be respected by the government. I don't want to be forced to be vaccinated. And uh, for that reason, I think that a woman's right to choose is fundamental and should be defended. Carlos is right. And uh, of course, the right to an abortion, I think, is one of those things that the government's got no business uh, being into. Nationally, they're not alone. Recent Gallup polls show just 24% of Republicans believe abortion should be illegal in all cases. But in a state where Republican Governor Ron DeSantis won re-election by nearly 20 percentage points, then signed legislation that would ban most abortion after six weeks, political experts we spoke to said the measure is not guaranteed. You're going to get a substantial support across party line for this kind of amendment. We've seen that even in states that are, that are more Republican than Florida is. The big caveat, though, uh, especially here in Florida, is that the threshold for constitutional amendment in Florida is 60 percent. And that's a that's a difficult threshold on any issue, let alone one that can be quite as divisive as the abortion issue. This is something that a lot of people don't talk about, but they know how they're going to vote. And when you get behind that uh, booth and do your thing, um, we're going to speak up for ourselves. We reached out to the Republican Party of Florida multiple times via phone and by email. They have yet to respond to our request for comment. But the state's Republican Attorney General, Ashley Moody, has filed a brief with the state Supreme Court urging it to keep the question from appearing on the ballot, regardless of how many signatures are in fact collected. And as for that six-week abortion ban, it's still on hold pending a state Supreme Court decision on Florida's current 15-week ban, which went into effect back in 2022. But no matter the outcome, we'll say, if this ballot measure were in fact to pass in 2024, then both laws would be automatically invalidated. Jose?